Well, hello, everyone. Let's check in. It is 8.30. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our unblinded sales master morning huddle every single morning, Monday through Friday, from 8.30 to 9 a.m. For all of you that were on fire, uh, you are hearing what it sounds like for all our members of our master program. We had an amazing, amazing, amazing call last night um, where so many beautiful people shared, Jay shared vulnerably, and, and of course, many others. So very grateful for all of you that are in our mastery program. And more importantly, the culture, the camaraderie, and the way that we stand for each other is exceptional. So it is 831. Sean, are you here with us? Yep. Hey, good morning uh, to all. Good morning, Frando. Happy fun Friday. Hope everybody's doing amazingly well. Amazing. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so what's happening out there on this fun Friday is the opening question. For those that are new to the show, Whoa, some interesting feedback there. Um, fun Friday is about realizing that if we don't have fun, excitement, um, passion, energy, and building our business and our life, it's like, hey, and that's what we're here to do. And the process of growing our business for a lot of folks, we could, we could associate to work, exhaustion, frustration, potential rejection, failure, like all those feelings being present or to reframe those things and really have fun, excitement, passion, energy in, in doing all these awesome things. So with that said, I want to see who's ready to jump in um, and share, like, what's fun for you about growing your business, your life right now? Anybody have anything exciting that they're up to this weekend, the next week coming up? We also have Tony Robbins' uh, birthday and Beckham series horse um, ending horse slaughter uh, event, as well as the ecosystem merger meeting our public speaking forum all next weekend coming up. So what's present for you who wants to jump in? Hello, 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 Sean. It's Dimple. Oh, D Dimple, what is happening? It's just fun to have like Dimple's accent. Like that's just fun by itself. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know how many people have said, I need to do a meditation like audio. So that's something I'm definitely going to be doing with this voice. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, if, Dimple, if, if all else fails, you could narrate like Disney characters. Like if everything <laughs> else in the world like doesn't work, that, that could definitely be a, a thing. Love it. So, Love it. So, so what, what's fun for me is I just got back from Costa Rica and had the most incredible experience there both in serving people and saving marriages and also having fun with my man just playing just playing just laughing for no good reason and just, no, that is awesome where, where were, um so, well, so what did you guys so what were you doing there in general uh dimple so I was um, facilitating a relationship retreat. So there were three married couples that were on the brink of divorce and 10 children between them all. And by wow. the end of the four or five days, I were, um, was able to get them to a place where they were back passionately in love with each other. So yay. <laughs> so, Congratulations. That is awesome. And what, so, that is like that, that's not awesome. It's beyond awesome. The the <laughs> impact uh, generationally on those dynamics is is truly incredible. And I guess um, what and for yourself, you know, how did yes. you sort of associate your fun and any thoughts and ideas for people on how to do that? And by the way, in case anybody's thinking this was staged, I had no idea. Uh, we, we always run just energetically in an awesome free way. I had no idea Dimple was going to be on. This wasn't a planned moment. Uh, so this is just really fun and cool. So Dimple, yeah. how do you associate to fun? And, you know, like, what is it for you that you see for people and when they maybe are blocked from having fun? So, sorry, could you say that again, Sean? You cut out for a yeah, moment. Yeah, sure. So let me ask the question a better way. You've, you've in, your, in your life shared um, – some interesting times as we all have had where you yeah. weren't having as much fun and, and other people are not having as much fun. So yes. any, any shares um, on how people might associate to themselves their lives differently or how it worked for you to have more fun? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, particularly in a process that I did with the couples where fun was the, the biggest game changer and breakthrough for them. And it's something I use on a daily basis um, to break pattern. 
so what for example the couples were going from a um a level 10 where they were doing fantastic negotiations with each other on what they needed in that relationship and they'd, they'd be triggered and dropped to a level one and i used fun so helping them identify what's fun for them to to get them immediately back up to level 10 so for me it's a it's a soundtrack it's a song that i play that gets me back into and it, and i move and i dance for some of the couples it was laughing and what was so interesting was that for one particular woman for her laughing and having joy for no good reason at all actually not only helped her move from a level one very quickly back up to a level two at uh, level 10 but it also had the same impact on her beloved on her husband the, her smiling and laughing broke his state and helped him move back to a place where they were able to then come to a negotiation and and discuss what was really needed to be discussed so the communication improved just through fun that was the mind-blowing thing when i witnessed this like she started laughing i started laughing her husband started laughing and <laughs> the tension just dropped so yeah that's how we no. we've we've used fun that, that's awesome and how about you know what what comes up for me is sometimes um for all of us we could just be taking ourselves and life too seriously yes you know um and any thoughts on that absolutely i i have to remind myself daily that life is the balance the balance because i i 100 percent do take myself too seriously 100 percent 100 percent and i tell you who who is who's been gifted to me in this world is my youngest daughter because she reminds me to laugh how ridiculous as an adult that I have to have a reminder to laugh, like, yeah. <laughs> do you know? Absolutely. So, yeah. you know, so yeah, absolutely. So yeah. thank you for and, that reminder. Yeah, and what I, what I find, um, simple and everybody, is sometimes we could be in a place, and, and I could find myself here too, where mm. things are going on and we have like rules about when we could have fun. Like I can't yes. have fun until everything is perfect or at least this conflict is solved absolutely. or this challenge is done. And so for everybody out there, um, you know, our rules impact our behaviors, our emotions. And, and we don't even realize sometimes that we have these rules. Mm. So when we're talking about unlocking our fun, let's sit back and examine some of our rules. Like, mm. do we have these, like, subconscious rules that say fun, I can only have fun <laughs> when dot, 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 yeah. and dot, 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 and dot, 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 <laughs> versus... I could have yeah. fun when I'm breathing or, yeah. or, yeah. or, or, um, any, yeah. any, uh, and by the way, so like, I'm hearing your agreement, Devil, thank you. How about for you? Like what, what things do you like to do? And this will be my, my final question for Dimple and anybody else wants to yeah. jump in right after this. So Dimple, yeah. what things do you do for fun? So like play, fun, like laughter, so, I'm hearing that. La yeah. Laughter, dancing, listening to music, um, catching myself like even then as you were speaking sean i was laughing at my rules for fun like seriously <laughs> you know <laughs> like it has to be a certain way before i allow myself to laugh like hello <laughs> so yeah 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 so that i was having a breakthrough as you were saying that so yeah exam examples of fun for me are just laughing for no good reason just for no good reason Awesome. Well, Dimple, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so excited to hear that uh, you're doing marriage CPR uh, down in Costa Rica <laughs> as you're, you're doing that. relationship CPR all the time. So awesome. And uh, we will talk soon and great job. God bless. Thank you. Thanks, Dimple. All right. Anybody else want to jump in? On yeah. Hey, Sean. For you? Or about you, Rose? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Sean, it's Fernando. Just want to honor Annie Ojeda. She has had her hand up, so I just want to give her a second to unmute and see if she still wants to share. I believe she hasn't shared yeah. before. So Annie, uh, if yeah, you let's go, Annie. Yourself, um, I do. Good morning. This hi, is hey, Annie. Go good morning. 
I'm connecting from Mexico and I'm very excited. Uh, last night was my first call, my first class, and today is my first huddle call. Thank you to well, Welcome Samuel aboard, for Annie. Inviting me. Yes, thank you very much. And what I want to share is that tomorrow I'm giving my very first workshop. Um, and it is called That's in fun. Spanish. It is called Today I Love Me, Today I Love Myself, and Tomorrow as well. And it is a workshop to activate self-love. So it's not about self-love per se, but what has helped me in the past and up to today to, um, to improve my, my relationship with myself. Uh, to improve my confidence, and I was um, I was very um, how how to say it? <laughs> um, I was kind of nervous about uh, stepping up and moving forward and sharing with people uh, in a big scale because um, two years ago I started as a professional and as a coach and it's I feel very comfortable on one-on-ones but speaking uh, to a larger group it always it always makes me nervous and it's also a very uh, big accomplishment for me because that advertising of that workshop uh, where I only have five people registered, my vision was 11 and I, I, um, I planned it for 20. <laughs> but that, that advertising um, made somebody to call me from one of the most prestigious hotels here in the area. And they invited me um, last Thursday to give a talk about self-love to their employees. So it was that the invitation for everybody was just to hear me for an hour to talk about self-love. So I spoke for the very first time for over 90 people. Um, when they invited me, they mentioned they were going to invite about 60 people, but um, they usually only show up like half or less than half. And I was extremely surprised to see all of them, but mostly to see how good I was to handle the the big public. So well, that is what I wanted to share. Uh, and well, congratulations, and that sounds super fun. A couple quick things. Um, so many people never get to the taking action place. So the idea that you had that, the byproduct, you were planning um, and hoping for an event for you know either 11 or 20, I'm hearing, and then you had this other thing happen. So instead of speaking to 20 people, it sounds like combined you've spoken to 95 people and you had two speaking engagements instead of one. That's outstanding. And uh, Annie, from all my heart, shoot videos every day. Speak as often as you possibly can, whether it's to five people or three people or 20 people or 100 people. The repetition is critical and be analyzing how you're connecting what you're doing. And just tomorrow when you're doing this, these people have fun, engage them, ask them questions, be in your heart, have them in their heart, have fun. Like fun for everybody is such a critical component of influence. It's such a critical component of going from flow to yes. And more importantly, it's just such a fun component of life. Like having fun, playing, as you know, simply use that word, just being in our heart. And one of, one of the, um, the ways that I do this, and if anybody else wants to share, uh, jump in in one minute. Um, but I make commitments to myself about what fun looks like, and I can forget to have fun because I, I go to um, you know competitive Zeus sort of sports team, football, baseball, wrestling team fire. Like I go there um, pretty easily as default. You know that's the space I go to. I also though have a lot of fun, and so when I go when I go to my beach house down on Long Beach Island, I have. I have things that I do to make sure I always feel youthful, playful. Like no matter when it is in the year, I go in the ocean. Um, so when we went to Tony Robbins' house, jumped in the, the cold plunge. Now in the, in the crazy group of platinum partners, 
that's not that uncommon. Like everybody's crazy there. Like almost everybody is free and having fun and playing. You know, when I go to Long Beach Island though, it's so it, it's so fun for me that nobody's jumping in the ocean if it's November uh, or almost nobody. And I'm always up there on the beach and I've committed every single time I go to um, do different things, go to ice cream shops and go to the amusement area and never lose the things. And not like a rule driven have to structure, but to be in my heart and to see the world magically, like to look at things and focus and say like, what's cool and what's special about this have movies that bring me to places of youthfulness and uh, aspirational uh, energy as well as fun energy, just connecting with playfulness and fun and heart and soul and laughter and people. And also just another access to fun and playfulness is just to look at some of the ridiculous things that happen in the world all the time. You know, it's kind of like, and not, and not to belittle anything that we believe in and do, But to also say, like, yeah, it's kind of weird to, like, jump in the ocean when nobody's jumping in the ocean. Or it's kind of interesting to want to go and just sit in an amusement area, like, and eat ice cream. Or it's kind of unusual that people would talk about some of the things that they talk about or laugh about some of the things that they they laugh about. And, And comedy unleashed is just talking about the truth of things and just looking at them through a little bit of a different prism. Like, you look at something, like, think of any comedian you listen to. And they just take normal, ordinary life things, and they put a little bit of a different lens on it. Now, sometimes it's in a lot of darkness, so I don't really like dark comedy, uh, although it could still be funny. uh, But there's like light comedy, you know, and if you look at any comedian, um, one of the funniest uh, things I've ever done in my entire life was go to an improv at Disney like 20 years ago. I remember sitting there, and all they did is just have fun looking at different things in life. Um, just having slightly overly emphasized or exaggeration moments about things and all of those things work. And so um, just on this day, realize that when you bring that energy to other people, the little different prism, that moment, and certainly not making people feel bad. And we have to match a mirror. Like we don't want to walk into a business meeting and start laughing, but we can bring people to laughter. We can guide people through the journey by meeting them where they are and taking them there through a different prism. And it's such a magical place and source of influence. But more importantly, it's just a beautiful way to live. So anybody else want to share anything that's fun for them, that's exciting for them, that's coming up for them? Anybody have anything else they want to share? Thank you very much, Shane. All right, Annie, thank you. Congratulations, and go get it tomorrow. Awesome. Can I say something very short? Yeah, of course. Hi, Sean. This is Armel. We met in the plane after Sun Valley. Um, oh, my goodness. Sarah. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Happy and where are you calling from today? Uh, Belgium today. Oh, my God. So we have Belgium, yes. Mexico, and I think <laughs> Dimple uh, was in uh, London, I think, or, you know, in the UK. So okay. that's an amazing day. This is like Holy International Fun Friday. Yeah, so like, exactly. Hey, you um, I just wanted to share something that uh, I'm so proud and so happy about because uh, I launched my podcast 10, 12 days ago and this beginning of the week, it just went on iTunes new and not worthy and I'm super proud and happy about that. That's um, amazing. Yes, it is. And it just went so fast. It's rare that it goes so fast. So I'm so excited about what I can create with that and how much I can touch people and reach and also all the reviews I had and what people say about it. I, I just want to acknowledge and celebrate something that feels so good and so great for me. So it was right. short. It, yeah, no, congratulations. And is that fun for you? Like, it is, is fun so to feel fun. That. Oh, that, that is awesome. <laughs> I love inspiring people. I love, um, yeah, teach them another way to like look at their uh, whatever their struggle is, and to be able actually to really learn another way to be happy, and that it's all inside of us, and that no matter what we struggled with, and how much we had like pain and suffering in our life, we can always be happy. There's always something inside of us that we can celebrate, that we can be happy about, and when we connect with the deeper part within ourselves. It's just joy is there. It's there for no reason. So yeah, I'm, it's so much fun for me to share all that, actually. Super awesome. And a couple of quick questions. Uh, what's the name of the podcast? 
Uh, the podcast is called Wake Up, Be Alive. Very cool. And um, congratulations again on making new and noteworthy. That is yeah. awesome. And then one other quick question. Um, yeah. So you were at uh, Tony Robbins' house that yes. night, uh, yes. correct, right? Yes. And like, how did you have fun there? And like, what oh. was fun for you there? Oh my God, it was just so amazing. Just being there, I felt the generosity of Tony and Sage just inviting us in their home. Um, just that huge welcoming. Um, it was fun and inspiring also. I just felt that I really see, also when you went on stage with Tony and Scott and that you, you guys gave the check of what we actually raised all together for the, tra the sex trafficking to stop it. I was amazed, I was in, in tears and blown away. And to me, all these things, like when I see the heart of people, this is, I, I, I'm just, yeah, it touches me. And then uh, the comedian was fun. And then being with friends was fun. Having a glass of wine was fun. Going in the hot spring was fun. Jumping in Tony's cold hole was fun. And yeah, just that, yeah, that we could, uh, we could just share what this life can be some days. Um, yeah, I feel like I just felt this generosity was so much fun, actually. All of it, all of it. Yeah, and, and the comedian, as you're mentioning, um, he was some, and, and I'm not judging cursing or not, but the comedian didn't curse, didn't make fun in a negative way of anybody. And no. he was hysterically funny and engaged yeah. the crowd <laughs> in such a fun and awesome way. Yes. Yeah, and I, th I felt he was also surprised by the crowd that we were, that we were so on fire that he even didn't know what to do at some point. So it was also very funny. <laughs> yes, yes, Just absolutely. So Phenomenally good. awesome. So around. congratulations and thank, thank you for that you beautiful so much, share yeah. on this fun Friday. And I'm, I'm super excited and thankful for the contributions of everybody for um, the international um, and um, woman you know, feminine energy that was here today that was a beautiful mm. thing we had three women share from all over the world and that's fun like so thank mm. you amazing amazing fun friday jared what's uh present for you brother what's present to me is last night i was on the phone with fernando and adam it's the way we end each day we debrief and we tried to loop sean in because it was one of those conversations where all of us just could not stop laughing. So we didn't get Sean. We will get Sean next time. We will start recording some of these calls because they are just that fun. <laughs> and uh, you'll see a whole other side of, of the nerve center. It is, it is absolutely unbelievably special. Um, outside of that, what is present to, for me is there is only two spots left for Jay Levine's unblinded real estate event. So that's pretty fun. Wow. And, uh, if you are, in uh, North New Jersey, and you're a real estate professional, there are literally two spots left. So unblindedrealestate.com, go grab one of those two spots. Um, what's also fun are the people that are coming to uh, Tony Robbins' birthday with us, and the next day, March 1st, a three-hour ecosystem merger and public speaking boot camp. Uh, amazing names on the list. Many of you have been asking if you could bring like friends that are coming with you to Tony Robbins' birthday to the Unblinded Ecosystem Merger and Public Community Bootcamp. The answer is yes. If they're coming to Tony Robbins' birthday, um, please bring them. Please. They don't have to pay. It's, it's our gift to them because they're honoring such a special person and a special cause. But they do have to register because there is a hard limit at 160 people. So please make sure that you register, have your friends register as well. We can't wait to see you. It's a week away. It's gonna be so much fun. Back to you, Sean. Yeah, awesome. Listen, this was a tremendous huddle and a fun Friday, and it was driven by the ecosystem. So I did a little, just here to facilitate a little bit. Um, you did tons. So I am so thankful to Dimple, um, uh, Annie Armel, and so excited. So please keep bringing that beautiful energy. There's such great energy last night um, as we did our role plays and such great questions on Tuesday. We are rolling. Um, so bring it today. Make things happen and bring that fun energy John? to the world. Oh, yes. Hey, hey, it's Erica. So um, I just wanted to put this out there for anyone who's on the huddle who's thinking about writing a book. Erica yes. Siegel, Grateful Realtor, right? So 
I thought I had to hire a book coach. Like, honestly, I thought this was going to be a separate, like, distinct, like, person I need to bring on. And I'm like, where am I going to get the money from? And I'm doing an abundance meditation. I'm like, okay, sales mastery. I'll, like, ecosystem merger, a book coach, right? Like, this is what it was in my mind. And then I was on the call last night. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, who needs a book coach when you have, like, people who shared on the call last night? So I'm saying this for everybody who's like, oh, I need another coach. You don't need another coach. It's right here in this, like, sales mastery program. I don't need a relationship coach. I don't need, like, a book coach. I don't need a fitness coach. I don't need anything. First of all, I don't need anything. Like, there's what I want to create. And I'm just, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. Sorry. <laughs> my heart is racing. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, but I just wanted you to know that, like, it was so beautiful to hear the first three shares because I was so excited. And I'm going to a cafe today with my nieces that it was kind of putting off, like, I don't got time for that. And it's a cafe with cats and a cat lover to write my book. Like, it's in the calendar happening. And oh. Mary loves to write and create. And I was like, of course I have time for this. It's fun Friday. And then That's Jay, awesome. like, I just, I also want to say, folks, do not be afraid about looking perfect, doing it right, like, whatever it is that's in your space around role playing. I was like, hey, pick me, pick me. And somehow I didn't get chosen. Perfect. I didn't get chosen because Jay Levine got chosen. And I was like, that was brilliant to watch because I'm a realtor. He's a realtor. So I was like in his, like, he was my character. If I would have gone on there, I probably would have done something similar. And then just watching him, just because you don't get picked, doesn't mean you are not like in the moment, the intervention, the coaching, the support. This is for you. So just and the more prepared you are, sometimes we don't, we're not prepared for a date. We're not prepared for like to role play. We're not prepared for like a sales presentation. And Jay wasn't prepared to there. He didn't have his hand raised. And that's okay. He did so cool, so great. And I just want you guys to know that if you're not in the program, I would have paid him $100,000 to be on that call last night. <laughs> and I'm wow. thanking you from the bottom of my heart because like I'm writing a book about how to go from trauma to triumph. And I'm like, when am I going to get that book coach? When's that going to happen? When am I going to get inspired to write? And my heroic identity is like oozing up. So I love you. Uh, Erica, and I love all of awesome. you who shared. Oh my God. Thank you. That was a beautiful share. That is super fun energy. Enjoy the time with your nieces and writing. And I'll give this last piece on book writing, um, on writing yeah. anything. So I've written tons yeah. in my life and, now, I have to confront myself and my own self-mastery because I haven't completed my, my book yet, but I've written tons in terms of blogging, in terms of the legal world. And so here's a, here's a phenomenal writing piece. Outline the chapters. Don't, go, don't ever edit. Outline the chapters at nonstop. Just do it. Like if you're going to write, just make the chapters based on the general outcomes you want to create. So list your outcomes, then write a bunch of chapters. Then frame bullets and stories in each chapter. Then just start writing. And do not edit anything. Write straight through paragraph for paragraph and finish a chapter. And then finish another chapter. And then you can go back and play a little bit and edit and see if you're still on track globally. But get massive progress. Don't stop and think. Create out massive trap uh, outcome outline and chapter outline bullets for chapters, write chapter, and then because you're going to edit a ton later anyway, but that's how to get yourself going. It is fun Friday. Thank you for all of these awesome shares and super fun. Have a great day. Love you. Love you guys. You're and great just you know, the role play is officially loaded to the platform, so you can go watch the replay. It is loaded, and the transcription is loaded as well. Enjoy, enjoy. Okay. Do you guys sleep? I mean, like, really, we love you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a great day. God bless. Have, Have an amazing day. weekend.